Welcome to the Backcountry Vagabond. I am your host and the Vagabond himself, Greg Sidnam. I am going to go up mountain about 18 miles from this point to Huckleberry Lake in the Immigrant National Wilderness and I'm going to spend the next four weeks in the woods. Hello and welcome back to the Backcountry Vagabond. We are going to partake in some of nature's bounty. You see a tree, I see a spruce tree. They all have these little green tips on them. You always want to get the ones that are the most tender. Then you just pluck them right off and drop them into your bag. Next time you see me, I'll have a full bag of spruce tips. I'm the backcountry vagabond saying, hey, bro, ain't nobody out here but me. I made it. I'm at Huckleberry Lake, evening of day four. This is going to actually be the first cast I'm throwing at Huckleberry, assuming that I can get my reel to work. Uh-oh, that did not sound good. Well, it appears that I'm going to have to perform some sort of emergency surgery on this thing to get it to work. I'll talk to you guys later. Let's take it back a ways. On day two. I had left Shingle Springs. I was moving up the hill. So I thought, you know, I really need to... Uh. So I step off the trail. I find myself a little spot. I go into my pack and I realize that I forgot toilet paper. So I discovered that cedar boughs, eh, not so good. <laughs> we're pretty concerned about fishing, how we're going to do it and how we're going to catch. So I'm going to try to take somebody out with me every time I go now. When I say somebody, I mean the camera. <laughs> this is what fishing is gonna be like all trip. It's gonna be a hard trip. You see how the bugs f with me though, right? You see it, right? I mean, I'm not just making this up. The thing is, is every time I go out, they're trying to eat me and I'm trying to kill them. And they're winning. My day is not going so well. My fishing reel is just shot to hell. Wish my fishing reel worked, but it doesn't. Those of you that know me know that I'm a worst case uh -oh. scenario kind of guy. <laughs> All right, from my perspective, that reel is ruined. I'm done fishing forever. I'm never gonna see another fish at all. But that's not really probably gonna be the case. I'll catch more fish. I just need to figure out if they're going to hit my flies. So day eight. Um, beautiful day. We are going to head back to the island now. Hopefully catch a fish or two along the way. I've got one of the larder. I never ate that fish this morning. I just had the oatmeal. It was good. I probably should have had the fish, but bugs were bad enough that I didn't want to spend the time outside. I got this morning's catch on film. That's always a plus. I still have 19 days to go. Almost three full weeks before I go home. Okay, so day nine, evening. I found out that my little flies will work and caught three really nice rainbow trout, ate two of them today. And I just keep catching fish. My reel is a piece of shit. <laughs> I can't cast from me to you away, but for whatever reason, I'm still catching fish. Doom, despair, and agony on me. Deep, dark depression, excessive misery. If it weren't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. It's a beautiful evening. It's true. I do indeed have a leak in the boat. Hopefully it'll repair up right away. It would really suck to not be able to get back to that area by boat or have to swim across because I stranded myself. <laughs> I fucking decided to go off trail and all of a sudden my boat leaks and I can't get back. Oh, but the stories, the stories I say. 